and we're back doing the Constitution line by line. Hi, well, I'm Paul Fabrizio. <laughs> and I'm Don Frazier. And all that off mic stuff doesn't ever make you. Yeah. Good. What's this about a hot mic? Yeah, hot mic, hot mic. How many politicians got in trouble because of a hot mic? So we're doing the Fifth Amendment now. Yes. And we've already done one part of the Fifth Amendment, grand juries. What's our line now? Are you ready? Nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb. Double jeopardy is what we're talking here. Funny way to put it. Life or limb. That's right. Now, what this is understood to mean is that the government gets one shot. And if you're found guilty, okay. If you're found not guilty... They cannot try you again. Do you think that's a good read? Uh, it depends on what you mean by good read. Well, I mean, that's, is that what it says? Is that that's what it says, that's what it says. Now. Now. <laughs> There's a couple ways to think about this. What if you're really guilty? Yes. Okay. But you, they don't get you the first time. They don't get you the first time. They cannot go back and get you again. They can't okay. charge you for the same crime. Can they charge you for a different crime? Okay. What often comes up is the O.J. Simpson case as an example of Not this. Not the juice. <laughs> My hero when I was growing up. But O.J. Simpson was found not guilty of murder. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. There you go. So what happened is that since the government couldn't go after him anymore, the families of the victims sued him in civil court. Yeah. And for wrongful death. For wrongful death. And not there, even, yeah, not he murder, was, but wrongful and death. there he was found liable, so he didn't lose his life or limb, just lost money, property, that sort of stuff. Yeah, they wrecked him. So they got him a different way. There have been cases of people who have been found not guilty, and then after the jury came in with a verdict, they said, but I am guilty. And there's nothing the government can do. Wow. Why do you think they say life or limb? Were we in the habit of lopping off hands or something? I don't know. That's, That's a historical question. Because I've for never you. heard of that, but I guess I mean that was a that had been a punishment historically. Yeah. But what a strange thing to say for life or limb. Yeah, and I think it's loosely interpreted now to mean, you know, imprisonment of some sort. Yeah, because it doesn't say imprisonment. Yeah, I know it Just doesn't. It says but, life or limb. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, that's that's your area more. Yeah, that's pretty arcane. Yeah. So, we say the government can go after you once, okay? This very year, the Supreme Court had a case that dealt with this very thing. Really? It involved a felon with a gun. Felons aren't supposed to have guns. Correct. So... The felon, Not even as part of a well-regulated militia. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't want those people, I guess, on your that militia. Would be terrible. So the felon was tried for possession of the weapon, as I understand the case, at the state level and found not guilty. Okay. The federal government then came in and tried him for the same crime, but it's a federal statute, statute as well as a state statute. And this time he was found guilty. Different, so different process, different jury, different everything. But the same crime. Same crime. So that sounds like double jeopardy to me. So is it double jeopardy? And the Supreme Court said, no, it's not double jeopardy. Really? Double jeopardy only can come from the same level of government. Same jurisdiction. Same jurisdiction. So a state can only go after you once. But then the feds can take a swing at you. The feds can take a, take a swing at you. And you think back to the Rodney King uh, case the police officers were found not guilty at the state level. The federal government tried them with civil rights violations, yeah. a different crime, even though it involved the same, same act event. by the police yeah. officers. And they were found guilty there. And that was not double jeopardy. And now, same event, same crime, but a state crime and a federal crime. Government can go after you twice. And the Supreme Court said, no, that's yeah. not double jeopardy. Yeah, wow. exactly. So that's a chipping away of the double jeopardy thing. That is a big chipping away. Yeah. Because I could see how that would be horribly abused. There is great potential for that. Yes. And, by the way, what that means is 
the, you know, the, the laws have to be in place. And the reality is, is that most federal laws don't overlap state laws. You know, drunk driving is a state thing. Yeah, it's not correct. a federal thing. But the federal government is writing more laws that match state laws. So there is greater potential for this in the future. And by the way, this only involves a not guilty verdict. So if the jury comes back hung so they couldn't make a decision, yeah. the government has always been able to try you again. Okay. Okay? So that's what we're talk- talking but about. But if they, if they convicted you, could the feds come back in and convict you as well so that they could put you up in their housing instead of the state housing? Based on the Supreme Court ruling this year, yes. Yeah, probably so. And the question would be, why is the feds – trying trying you for this crime if the state already has you in you know why does they why do they do that it's so, interesting yeah they want somebody off the street they want some but the state is already going to take them off the street so why is the feds trying to do it well, but, maybe they want to they want them in a facility that they control <laughs> yeah that's what maybe, i'm saying maybe i know that's a little yeah. spooky to me i'm troubled by it too um, and it jangles my state's rights nerve okay you know, the flip side of that, of course, is the feds could try you for a crime first and the state could try you for a crime afterwards. Sure. So it's just different jurisdictions. doesn't matter who goes first. But it still, to me, is the government getting a second crack at you. Mm-hmm. And, and they're going to keep trying you till it sticks. Yeah, and that seems to be in violation of the spirit of the Constitution, but that's not what the Supreme Court said. And so I think it was a seven to do two decision, but I'm not positive. And it's the current Supreme Court. It's the current Supreme Court this year. Wow. Yeah. So be careful out there. Yeah. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time (laughs) twice. (laughs) Twice. (laughs) All right. So that's our line. That's our line. All right. So that's our line. This time we're going to come back with the third sort of element of the Fifth Amendment next time.